This is what I used to look like when getting client feedback on a website. And this is me now after I started using Project Huddle for client feedback. With Project Huddle, your teammates and clients can comment directly on the website itself, like pasting a sticky note. This way, it's easier to understand the context behind that feedback, and it's much simpler to manage too. So much better. How's it going, everyone? In this video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of Project Huddle and show you why it's the best tool for design feedback. It can be a massive game changer for you if you're finding it tedious and frustrating having to send emails back and forth with your clients and teammates when working on a website. By the end of this video, you'll know how to get started with Project Huddle as well as what it can do for you. And if you're considering buying Project Huddle, hopefully this video will help you with your decision as well. So if you're ready, let's get started. As I've already said, Project Huddle is a WordPress plugin for website and design feedback. You can collect feedback on websites by basically pasting a sticky note directly on your screen. Other collaborators will then see that comment and will know exactly where you placed it and the context behind that feedback. On top of that, you can add feedback for images, sketches, logos, and PDFs. So whatever you want to collaborate on and get feedback with, Project Huddle can help with that. Now that you've got a glimpse of how Project Huddle works, let me show you how you can purchase it and set it up on your website. To purchase the plugin, we'll first have to go to projecthuddle.com. Here you can go ahead and create an account and purchase the plugin. Once that's done, you can sign into Project Huddle's dashboard, which looks something like this. Here we'll have to go to the Downloads tab on the left-hand side, and then here it will show you all your available downloads right here. The one we want is Project Huddle Dashboard Plugin. We can press the Download button here to download it. And that will pop up with your steps right here, but don't worry, I'll walk you through it step by step. Just take note to either copy the license key here or leave this window open for when we go and activate the plugin on our website. Before we go onto our WordPress website, let me quickly explain how the Project Huddle setup works. With Project Huddle, you'll essentially have two versions of the plugin. One will be the central or admin version of the plugin. This is the one that we just downloaded. Let's say if you're an agency owner that designs websites for your clients, you will install this one on one of your websites. Then on your client's website, you can install the client version of the plugin straight from the WordPress repository. So now I will show you how we can set up Project Huddle on your central website. And then I'll also show you how you can set it up on your client side and connect them together. Let's head on over to our WordPress dashboard. All right, here we are in my WordPress dashboard and to install Project Huddle, it's basically like installing any other plugin. First, we have to go into plugins right here and press add new. And since we've downloaded the zip file, we're gonna go up here and press upload plugin at the top and we can go and choose our file right here. And next we can navigate and find that zip file that we just downloaded, this one right here. There we go. And then we can also press install now. Once the plugin has been installed, we can also go and activate the plugin right here, just like that. All right, looks like Project Huddle has successfully been activated. Now we can go and paste our license key right here. Remember the one we copied earlier from their website? We can paste that right now. I'm gonna right click, press paste. There's my license key right there. It's already gone ahead and verified that. So this button right here says agree and activate license. So we can go and click that now. All right, now that our license key has been activated, now we can begin setting up Project Huddle. The first thing it asks us to do here is if we want to enable crash reporting. And enabling this will send crash reports automatically to Project Huddle, and it will help us improve the plugin and make it even better. So of course, I'm going to press I'm in right here to enable that. And now it's going to do a system check to make sure our website is suitable and meets the requirements to run Project Huddle. But as you can see here, if anything is below the recommended requirements, you can see it will let us know right here, just like this. But for this demonstration, we should be fine. Let's go ahead and press next. And here, Project Huddle gives us the option to adjust the branding and white label the product so it looks exactly like our business or brand. You can upload a logo for a dark background. You can upload a logo for a light one. You can also adjust the brand color down here as well, which is pretty cool. I'm just going to keep it default and proceed on to the next step. And here we have a few different settings to adjust for our email options. The first one is to do with the sender. So these are going to be all the emails that people will receive from your version of Project Huddle. So you can adjust the name right here. So currently it says the name of our website. We can change it to your name if you'd like to, just like that. And we can also adjust the reply email to that as well down here. I'm just going to leave those as is. And down here we can adjust the frequency for these emails. So currently it's set to send an email about each item straight away. So if anyone leaves a comment on your website, everyone of concern is going to get an email about that item straight away. Alternatively, you can also turn this off or you can set it so that you receive an email summary every five minutes, 30 minutes or three hours. So instead of receiving an email notification every time someone makes a comment this way, you'll receive a summary every five minutes showing you all the latest updates in the last five minutes or 30 minutes or three hours. So you can set one that best suits your needs right here. I'm going to leave them default again. And down here, we also have options to adjust the report settings. We can enable daily email summaries and weekly email summaries as well if you'd like to. I'm just going to press next down at the bottom here. 
And there we go, our dashboard is ready. And down below that, you have options to join our Facebook community. You can connect with our Twitter or blog right here. And you also have some helpful resources on the right-hand side. But the most exciting part is down here with next steps. You can either create a new mockup project or a new website project. So the key differences between these two is a mockup can be an image, a PDF, a file upload, anything like that. Whereas a new website project is exactly what it sounds like. This is where you set a project huddle on a live website so that a client can add comments directly to that site without having to use any mockups. For this tutorial, let's go ahead with a new website project. And all we have to do is click on it right here. So let's click on that. And right at the top here, we can give our new website a name. I'm just going to call it client website like that. And you can see down here, we have three different steps to complete our connection. So first thing we have to do is enter our website URL. Let me just quickly show you our client website that I'll be using for this demo. All right, so I've just gone ahead and put both websites side by side. On the left-hand side, we have the website we've been working on, our main central website. And on the right-hand side, we have our client website for a cafe. As you can see, we have library cafe, and all I've done here is install the Astra theme along with this cafe starter template. If you're wondering what starter templates are, there are a library of amazing, beautiful, professionally designed website templates that you can load in just a few clicks, including this library cafe one you see here. Everything on this website has been loaded with this template, including the content, the colors, the widgets, everything here. And it's beautiful and it's completely ready for you to customize and really make it your own. So now what we're going to do is try and connect this website here, our client site, to Project Huddle on our central website. So first thing, we're going to copy our URL for our client website just here. I'm going to copy that and we're going to paste it back in our central website just like that. And we're going to press next. All right, now we're on to the second step and that's connect. And what I'd like to highlight here is that with Project Huddle, it doesn't have to be a WordPress website that you're connecting to. You can connect to something else like Shopify or Squarespace. So you have an option here that's something else. And let me just quickly show you what that can do. You'll get the short code right here that you can copy directly onto your website. And once you paste it, and you'll get the exact same Project Huddle interface that I'll be showing you in just a few minutes. But for this instance, because this is a WordPress website, we're going to go with WordPress right here. And for WordPress websites, we have two different options on how we can connect to it. So we have the automatic method right here where all you have to do is enter an admin username and password right here. But for this tutorial, I just want to show you the manual method because in case this one doesn't work, you'll still have a method that you can try. So we're going to press try connecting manually down here and it gives us our instructions right here. So the first thing we have to do is install the client site plugin onto our client website. So let's do that here. We're going to go into our WordPress dashboard and we're going to go into plugins and add new. And then we can go and search for project huddle. And the one we want is right here, project huddle client site. We're going to install now. And we're also going to press activate as well. Next, we have this code right here that we need to copy and paste onto our client site right here. So we can press copy the code and we can go back onto our client site. You can see right here, our connection status is currently not connected. And because we're doing the manual method, all we have to do is paste the code right here. With the automatic one, it goes and does this automatically for you. All right, I'm going to paste that now, just like that. And we can press save changes. There we go. A connection status is now connected and it's all good to go. And back on our central website, we can go and press, I've pasted the code right here. There we go. It's all good to go. And our client site is now successfully connected to our central website with Project Huddle. All right, before we advance on to the next step, I just want to quickly talk about what you see in front of you right here. And this is your Project Huddle dashboard, for that website that we just added. And once we start adding feedback and comments onto our website, you'll see all of them listed here, neatly organized for you to manage. We'll come back to this later and I'll show you exactly what it looks like once our feedback and comments are added to this. And at the top right here, you might notice project access link. This is the link you can copy and provide your clients with so they can add feedback and comments onto their website. So let's click on that right here. And as you can see, it's loaded up our client site very quickly. And what you might notice at the bottom right here is we have our project huddle menu. We have a few different buttons right here. So the first one refers to all the comments that are made on that page that will change once we start adding comments. The second one, we have all the pages that we've been commenting on. We can see that once we click. And we also have an option to see all the activity on that website. And this button right here, hide comments, it will hide all the comments on your page right there. And this is the main button right here. This is the one we'll use to add feedback on our page. For example, let's scroll down right here and let's say we wanted to change the image right here. All we have to do is press this button right here, add a new comment. And you can see our mouse cursor has just changed. And now if we click anywhere, you can even see right there, it says click to leave a comment. I'm going to click right in the middle of that picture and it pops up with this window right here where you can add your feedback. So right now I can just go and type in anything I'd like. For example, there's my comment there. Please replace this image with something else. So now whoever's designing the website will have that feedback right here to replace this image. Let me just run you through the other settings we have here. So we have some options right here that allows you to add some more details along with this comment. You can even leave a screenshot right there. And we also have an option to assign this card to someone on that project. 
Currently, it's just me in there. So I can just sign it to myself just like that. And we also have an option to discard this comment right here as well. We can press that like this, like that. I'm going to cancel that. And down here, we can also choose to notify certain people. If I click on that, you can see all the people available to tag. I can do that just like that. And what's really cool is you can also tag certain people within that comment as well. For example, if I type in the at symbol, you can see a list of people right here. Currently, again, it's just me. But if I enter that, and just like that, I can tag people directly in that comment. And there we go. My comment has now been successfully added right here. And we can continue adding feedback onto our page. But if you want to look at that comment, we can always click on it right here. And if you want to adjust where it is, you can also drag it just like that and place it anywhere you'd like to. All right, now I want to show you what it looks like on a client side when using that project access link. Once you provide your client with that same access link, this is what it will show up as. You'll have this welcome message right here showing you a little bit of a prompt on what you can do. What you can do next is press OK right here, and you have the same project title controls right here that you had with the central site as well. And just like you did before, all you have to do is press the comment button here and click on anywhere on the website, and you can leave your comment right there as well. For example, I'm going to write, please change the font style, anything you'd like really, and I can also tag myself there, which is ESBSF right there. You can tag people, you can assign it to certain people just like that. And you can also choose to notify certain people as well. And currently, I've logged in as my pretend client on this website. So you can see how all the different users will show up on that site. So I can add the comment right there. I'm just going to quickly go ahead and add a few more comments onto this page and show you what it looks like. So now go ahead and added comments throughout the website. And remember that first one we added on our central website, this one right here, the first comment. What we can also do is reply to comments right here. So in that same window, we can go ahead and leave a reply right there. Just like that, we can leave a comment and we can also once again tag someone if you'd like to, and we can add comment just like that. And you can continue your discussion on that thread if you'd like to. And all future comments and discussion related to that thread will show up right here. All right, let me go back onto my central website and show you what it looks like now. All right, now I'm back on the agency side or central side of Project Huddle, accessing through that first account we used. You can see right here, if I open this up, you can see all the comments left by Jane Doe, our client. And what we can do now is down here, you might notice we have five comments. So if I click on that on the right hand side, it shows us all the comments that exist on this page, which is really cool. We have all the comments that were added by our client right here. We have our mentions and we also have a discussion right here. You can see the reply. That's the one we just added onto that thread before. And by clicking on it, that automatically takes us to that comment and show us that whole thread right here. And then you can choose to reply or check out whatever they've spoken about right here. And if any comment or feedback has been resolved, you can go and check this checkbox right here that says resolved, and it turns green, indicating that has been resolved. Now, if I go back onto comments, you can see that one doesn't show up here anymore. But if you go right here on toggle resolved, it will show you the ones that are resolved as well in green, which is really cool. And you also have some filters right here. You can choose all pages or just this page. You can choose to filter based on assignee, unassigned, yourself, anyone else. And up at the top, we have three different tabs. This currently is the comments tab, but if I go into pages, you can see all the pages that have any kinds of comments. But if I click on view page, that will take us to that page as well. And the last tab right here is activity. And here it shows us a very neat timeline for all the comments made on that page. And as I mentioned before, we also have this button right here to hide our comments. As you can see, we have different comments on our page right now. But if we toggle this on right here, that hides all the comments that are currently on the page. Simple as that. Right now that we know how it works on the front end of our website, let's go back into the Project Huddle dashboard. And I'll show you what it looks like now with all the different comments we've added. Here we are back in our Project Huddle dashboard. And as I mentioned earlier, we have all the feedback and comments that were currently added to our website, neatly organized for you to review right here. So you can see when each comment was added, who added the comment. You can see a preview or a little bit of text about that comment. You can see what page it's from and also who's assigned to that as well. And currently, all of these ones are listed as unresolved. But if I toggle this up here, it will show all the ones that are resolved as well, just like that one right here. And if they have any replies, you can view them here as well. If you choose to click on this right here, it will show you the initial comment right at the top right here, along with all the replies to that right below it as well. And if I go into details, it even has a screenshot of the location, the browser that was used to leave that comment, the browser size, all the information you might need to understand the context behind that comment. It's incredibly convenient and very easy to manage. So that was on the tasks tab right here. But if we go on pages, we can see all the pages once again that have any type of feedback on it. We have a little summary right here with the total resolved, the total number of comments, and percentage completion as well. And lastly, we also have settings tab right here where you can enable approvals for this project. You can modify the subscribe settings right here. And you can also adjust the project access credentials directly on the client site as well. 
And currently this is on the client site. You can see all the different users that are able to access Project Huddle. So here you can go and enable and disable ones that you'd like to. You can allow site visitors right here. You can also enable dashboard commenting here as well. And that's mostly how you can add feedback onto your live website. Let's now take a look at how you can do so with a mockup. To create a new mockup project, just like we did with the websites, all we have to do is go into Project Huddle right here and go into mockups. And next we can go and press new mockup at the top. And right here, we can begin adding our mockup files. So let's go ahead and do that. We can press add images. And I've already got one here in the media library. It's this one right here. It's just a screenshot of a website. And I can press add images right here as well. And there we go. And don't forget to give it a title at the top as well. I'm just gonna call it mockup hist. And then we can go and publish that right here. There we go. Our mockup is now ready to go. Just like with the live website project, we have our project access link right here that you can copy and share around with anyone working on it. But if I click on that, that will take us to our mockup right here. We can open it up. And just like we did with our live website, we have a similar project title interface with the same settings down here as well. And we have the same cursor right here that allows us to leave a comment. For example, I can click right there. And just like that, we have the same freedom to leave any kind of comment or feedback directly on this mockup. So right here, I can just comment anything I'd like, something like that. And I can press add comment, just like that. And you can do the same anywhere on this page right here. And back within that mockup project, if we go into tasks right here, we can see all the different comments that were added onto a mockup, just like we did with a live website. So no matter what you're collaborating on, whether it be a live site or a mockup like this, Project Huddle makes it extremely easy to receive and share feedback. But before we wrap up this video, I just wanna quickly show you some settings related to Project Huddle as well. So if I go into Project Huddle right here in the dashboard, we can go into settings. In the first one, we have options to again, customize how Project Huddle looks. We can add logos, we can change the color. And we can also enable universal project access right here. And next we have websites. You can choose to disable feedback on this current website. You can enable a small website toolbar. And you can also add a help link right here as well. And if I go into comments, you have some options here to allow private comment access. So anyone that's enabled here will be able to add private comments onto whatever project you're working on. And next we have approvals up at the top where you can adjust some approval settings. And next we have emails. This is mostly the same email options we had when we first set up Project Huddle, but we also have password reset link right here. And we also have email reminders at the bottom as well. And we also have an advanced tab where you have some advanced options you can take a look through. And lastly, we also have Slack integration. So if you're working with your team on Slack, you can enable Slack notifications for Project Huddle. So if I click this right here, you can enter your Slack webhook URL right here. And if you wanna learn how to set this up, you can click on this link right here. And down here, it gives you options to choose how you wanna be notified. So you can be notified when a website or mockup comment is added. You can be notified when a website or mockup is approved or unapproved. And you can also be notified when a comment or conversation has been resolved or unresolved as well. I hope this video leaves you excited about the different features available with Project Huddle. It's simply the best tool out there if you're working with a team or clients and collaborating on a website-based project. For more Project Huddle videos and WordPress tutorials, you can click on our logo right here and subscribe. And you can click over here to check out even more of our content. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.